Welcome to Woodside Park where the Cards take on 7th place Bishop Stortford in Blue Square South and they'll be looking to make amends for the 5-0 defeat at Bar City on Tuesday. The home side will also be looking for a change in fortunes as in their last two matches here they have lost to Weymouth and Chelmsford without scoring. And the one to watch for them will be Charlie Sheringham, son of Teddy, who is the league's top goal scorer with 14 goals. Graham Baker unsurprisingly makes a number of changes after Tuesday, starting with Matthew Wright, Nathaniel Pinney, Aswood Thomas and a returning John Boardman. Tony Sinclair moves to right back as Ricky Annan has flu, leaving Hutchinson and Boardman in central defence, while Wright and Pinney will play up front. And Woking will get proceedings underway here. Nathaniel Pinney on the ball, trying to take on Stevlin Angus. And we'll whip across in towards Giuseppe Sol, and the ball hits Ben Nunn on the arm in the area. But I'm not sure there was a lot he could do about that. Matt Jones on the ball for Bishop Stortford. And the ball's gone down this left-hand side where Lewis Smith will go past Tony Sinclair and cut inside. Can he get a shot away? No, it'll set up Ali Abdullah with the shot and that goes all the way behind. Unlucky from the home side. Boardman with the challenge and here's Aswood Thomas with the clearance down the left. Nathaniel Pinney chases it and does well to get on with it and now takes on Tom Champion. In comes the ball towards right but it's headed away. Might fall to Moses Animola with the shot and that's just wide. Good chance for Woking. Glenn Southam will take this kick quickly for Bishop Stortford. And now Ben Nunn will cross into the area looking for Charlie Sheringham with the header, but Ross Warner will gather that comfortably. Wasn't troubled by the looping header. Aims for Matthew Wright downfield, and the ball might go through to Nathaniel Pinney here who gets his shot away. But that's wide. A half chance there for either side. Hutchinson knocks the ball to Aswood Thomas for the free kick and he launches it long towards right. Angus doesn't quite get his header right. Here's Matthew Wright. Oh, what a finish. Matthew Wright with a staggering volley. The angle looked too tight, but Wright wasn't put off by that. And he found the bottom corner. Stevlin Angus there. Not the best header, and it's set up right for an incredible volley. Nicky Air was left helpless as that flew past him. And working a 1-0 up here, just past the half hour mark. Lewis Smith on the ball, into Charlie Sheringham, who knocks it back to Abdullah. And now out to Ben Nunn. He plays the ball into Lewis Smith, who will try to get a shot in past Hutchinson, and that's not far wide. Glenn Southam with his corner in and there's Abdullah trying to get the touch but the ball eventually ends up at Ben Nunn who will find Glenn Southam who puts in a long cross to the back post and there's Champion and there's Charlie Sheringham in the area and the ball just goes wide. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Champion headed it back across and Sheringham seems to be blocked by Hutchinson. Good work from him. And Bishop Stortford are being reduced to a limited amount of chances here thanks to some good defending. That long shot comes in and is comfortably saved by Ross Warner. Ben Nunn will take this free kick for Bishop Stortford and will try and pick out Matt Jones but that's an awful ball. Jones manages to keep it in and Southam chases it down and now that's very poor defending and Adimola has taken full advantage. He's got to the ball and can Adimola pull it back and there's Joe McNunn at the back post. Oh! And I think Ben Nunn has probably rectified his error there with an excellent block. Animola's low cross in looked destined to find the boot of Joe McNerney. But somehow that's been kept out for a corner. And Sol will whip in this corner to the back post and Bourbon's there. And Animola's there and Woking have a second. It's his third goal in four games, Moses Animola. And it wasn't the prettiest of goals, but they all count. And Woking have a second here, and surely that means they're going to walk away with all three points. Another excellent corner from Giuseppe Sol. It caused horrible problems at the back post. And Moses Animola made no mistake in the middle. 
63 minutes gone and working a 2-0 up thanks to Moses Adimoda. Matt Jones on the ball and he looks for Charlie Sheringham but the ball breaks free and here's Sam Sloma who looks to put Giuseppe Sol away and the flag stays down and this is an excellent chance for Sol to get a third. Oh and he's taken out by Tom Champion and the referee's given a penalty. And Giuseppe Sol will get the chance to score anyway. Champion dived in, clearly took Sol out. I wonder what his punishment will be here. Just a yellow card. He's perhaps a little bit fortunate there. Giuseppe Sol steps up and finds the bottom corner. Nicky Air went the right way, but he never looked like getting anywhere near it. And that's Sol's 11th goal in all competitions so far this season. Typically well struck Giuseppe Sol penalty. And that surely means that the game is beyond doubt now. And Teddy Sheringham, who was here watching his son Charlie, has had enough. Lewis Smith on the ball now. And he'll find substitute Riddle. And it's back to Smith who goes past Harry Arter and he gets a shot in and that's just past the far post. Graham Baker's side may be 3-0 up and coasting but he's still as animated as ever on the touchline. The home side have a corner which is into the area and headed away and Wilkin will survive that but the ball comes back in and it seems to go through everyone and here's Charlie showing at the back post. He tries to play the ball into Southam who gets a shot away but that's an excellent block by Tom Hutchinson. Moses Animola on the ball and he'll look for Luke Medley over the top and there's a header back to the keeper there and it goes past him but he will recover. Ball forward from Mark Ricketts looking for Luke Medley who takes it down well and flicks it past his marker well. Chance to make it four from Luke Medley and he puts it into the side netting. He skipped past his marker with an excellent turn. Bishop Stortford from the goal kick here and they've given the ball straight to Joe McNerney who will line one up from long range and that's comfortably saved by Nicky Air. Demola goes back to Ricketts who will go forward and the final whistle goes here and Woking have won 3-0 here at Bishop Stortford, a comfortable result for them in the end. Elsewhere in Blue Square South, there's some interesting scores. Bar City hold Newport County to a one-all draw, while Dover are also held by Bromley. Braintree Town, Basingstoke Town and Chelmsford City once again all win, while Thurrock are held nil-nil by Haventon Waterlooville. This means Woking gain two points on the teams of Budman, but they remain in third and still have Chelmsford City just one point behind them.